That was the Hello, thing. Hello, everybody. <laughs> intro I've ever seen in my life. Yay! Hey, welcome to all of your business. That was so fancy. Show. Yes. You should be super proud of yourself for doing all that. <laughs> You're going to have to teach me a thing or two. Let me share this real quick to my page. How is everybody? Hello. Oh, welcome, 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 welcome. We get some comments pulled up if you all are joining us. Drop a hello in the comments. Hey, Sherelle. Hey, Matilda. How you guys doing today? We are getting all up in some Reef business today. This is our very first podcast show. Hello, Regina. Great to have you. Yo, I'm just copying and pasting this link so I can share it on my page real quick. So, <laughs> hey, Sabra. You guys, this is going to be a very, Happy very Sunday. Very good show. Yes, so, I just want to first say that I'm so honored that she chose me to be her <laughs> first guest. And I am so proud of you for doing something that nobody else has really done. Because you know what? I mean, like, where would we be if we didn't have others to try to tell their testimony? And, you know, not that whatever I is, you know, have done or whatever is the right thing. But, you know, it's just... um like we were talking about, there is no perfect way. There is just to do it, right? And keep going. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. So if you guys haven't um, met or known Miss Candy, Miss Candy is with Candy's Creations. Um, she's a top designer in our community, in our industry. She also has Candy's Design School, which I have been a part of. And she's been a great and awesome mentor to me um, for the past couple of years. And I just adore her. And so I wanted to get her in here. Yes, Coach Candy. I want to get Yay. her on and have her in as a guest just to kind of get her background story. But you know what? That really, like, all of those things still sound so weird to me. <laughs> like It's happening. It's real. I life. am not kidding. Like, I don't, I, I, I'm the, always the person that I don't want anybody to dote on me. I don't want anybody. I know that sounds cliche or whatever else, but I am honest to God like that. Like, I just don't like, I don't want anybody making a big deal over me. So it just sounds really weird. Well, <laughs> we have to give you your flowers. You do deserve them, ma'am. You do deserve your flowers. Thank you. <laughs> You are a doing lot of people girl. see it. They don't see the weeds. They just see a lot of flowers. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Michael. Hey, That's Michael like Matthews. You How you doing? So, yes, we just kind of want this to be a natural show, um, just to come on and make it feel like we're having a conversation. All the things that you um, want to ask and um, kind of get to know a person about. Um, just to kind of hear their journey and where they came from and where they're going, where they may see themselves in the couple, couple, next couple of years. Um, so my first question I want to know is, was how did Candy's Creations become? You know, how did it come about? How did you first start your business? I don't know. Like, I just, y'all, I have the most terrible memory. It's awful to say, but I can't remember making like my first little Thanksgiving wreath, which was the most pitiful looking thing ever. <laughs> And then I made my friend a Georgia Bulldog wreath. I live near Savannah, Georgia. So um, I live in Richmond Hill, Georgia. And um, I made a Georgia Bulldog wreath for a friend. And it's like, I don't know. I think that is part of, like, you know, all of y'all will know too. When you have a passion for something, whether it's painting, making wreaths, um, like anything, you're a sport, like anything that you just love to do, it's just like inside of your soul. Like, yeah. and I don't know what it was. The more I just wanted to learn more. I wanted to learn more. Um, I would watch YouTube videos. I would, um, I would just like try to still to this day, soak up all the knowledge that I can. And I remember making, um, watching YouTube videos of how to make bows. I wanted to learn how to make a hand bow so bad. And I wanted to <laughs> learn, I wanted it to be good. I wanted it to be different, you know? And I came up like with two different, um, YouTube, YouTube videos to create how I make my bow now, which has been a practice over years. Y'all you're looking at literally nine to 10 years of Candy's creations. And people laugh. my friends laughed at me when I said, what am I going to name my little business? And like, I, I've had an Etsy shop forever. I just never utilized it until like yeah. the past three or four years. I really, really started focusing on it. And honestly, y'all, that's when my business changed. When I started taking my business serious as a business and not a hobby, that's when yeah. my whole life changed. Yeah. So 
And that's basically kind of it. Like, you know, years ago, nine years ago, at least is whenever I just started doing it and playing around with it, doing things for friends. And the more and more I do it, and that's what I tell the people in the design school is like, it's like a muscle. Like the more you do it, the more you're mm-hmm. going to grow, you know, right. it was working a muscle. Yeah. So it's muscle memory. It's um, just practice really does. I'm not perfect, but it makes you better. So that's just all it is. You know, hey, Michelle Williams. Yes, well, we just love those candy bows, you guys. We love the candy bows. I do them all the time. I'm so glad so because there's so, there's so many people that are like, I try and I watch that <laughs> slow motion video and I just cannot do it. Yes, you can do it. Don't tell me you can't because you can because there's so you many can. people I can tell that I teach or whatever. I see their work and I know they're in my design school or I know that they have been working on it. You know, I have a free whatever video on my Candy's Creations page that you could watch. So um, yeah. anyways, yeah. Yeah, so I be see, sure you guys. I know the people who work. I know the people who try and keep going and try and try and try. So I see them. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so um, just just what motivated you like to keep going as far as making it a business? Um, what, what motivated you to go there? Like, was it someone in your family or, um, no, just, I mean, I just think it was dream? just a passion. I think it was just the passion of it was yeah. something that I love to do when I started it. So I have, if you don't know, most of you do know, I have a 21 year old son and a 20 year old daughter and they were small at the time. And, um, you know, I don't even know if I was working. If I was, it was just part time or something like that. And as a stay at home mom and whatever else, like you just kind of look for an outlet to, you know, to have something to do for yourself or learn or be, you know, it's something that you're it's about you, you know. And um, I think it was just an outlet for me. And I just uh when I started doing it more and more and realizing that I had some sort of a talent with it, I yeah. just was like, you know, it's like rewarding yourself when you see you do good, you want to do it more. Right. Right. I mean, right. So, yeah. um, but I don't know if you want me to go ahead and go into this, but like I worked um, part time when the kids were small, I really worked peak time on Mondays and Fridays as a teller at the bank. And then um, my grandma got sick and I was with her the last eight months of her life. If you don't know that either, my grandparents raised me as a child. My parents are around, but um, they raised me and my grandma got sick and I was with her the last eight months of her life. And then after that, I got a job at the orthodontist and I used to take um, x-rays and photos of new patients. And when they got their braces off and stuff, and I really loved my job. But just after a while, it just got really... um, Cause I was doing that on the side, like making my wreaths and stuff. I would have to come home and make wreaths at night and stuff. And it just got to be hard. Y'all, the people who do it as a job, do a job, have a job and a 95 job and, and, um, come home and create, it's I hard. get it. it is, <laughs> the balance is so hard. Yeah. And I did start my design school before, um, I quit my job and, um, I just had to, And I remember telling my husband, I was like, I'm going to I'm going to leave again and I'm going to do. But I promise it'll be different this time. It'll be different this time because there was so many things that I tried that didn't work out as far as work wise. And when I look back now, it is so clear that God has a plan for my life. That It is so crystal clear. And when I tell y'all that you just have to have blind faith and trust the process it is, there is a no, and that's just in life in general, not even when what we do, you know, you just have yeah. to have childlike faith and you just have to believe that there's a plan for it. When I look back and see how it all, you know, unfolded, it's uh, true. It's just how it, how it all worked out. And I still like, you know, I still don't claim to know everything, but I can tell you one thing I have learned that if you're not working on yourself, you're working against yourself. Yeah, that's right. That is right. So, <laughs> that's the message y'all know i love a good message so uh, message. you want to read you want to read some of these questions that some people ask uh, sure christina oh. asks uh anna christina says what makes it a business and not a hobby she said i guess what do you mean by um taking it seriously um when i decided to get my llc when i decided to really push my etsy shop not rely on my local customers to, I would starve to death if I would have relied on my local customers. Nobody wants to pay over a hundred dollars for a wreath around here. Right. right? I mean, I do have some, don't get me wrong. I do. But most of my stuff, I was boxing up stuff for UPS to pick up here 
right before this interview. So like I had to, you have to find a way for people to buy from you online and advertise online. And right now, y'all, if you're starting out, Etsy is the best thing because yeah. they advertise for you. People fuss about the fees and da 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 and whatever else, but there's nowhere else you're going to get the advertisement where people go it's their own search engine. They're going to go there looking for what you have to sell. You right. use the right keywords. You use the right, you follow and do the, the the training for it and all that. And it'll, you can be successful at it. You just have to, like everything else, you have to work hard at it, you know? So, um, but, and I, then I ended up, um, I got my LLC. I uh, started separating my money. That was a big deal for oh, me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, used to, um, I had a little checking account that had where my paycheck went from my orthodontist. And I used to, you know, use out of that. to. And I know that's how it has to be at first, um, you know. But when I started, I got my, um, to get in Georgia, to get an LLC, you have to have, um, hold on, to get a bank account, you have to have an LLC, um, a business checking account. Mm -hmm. So um, I had to do all that. And like, just when I started doing all those things, um, separating it, you know, putting in the work, I work on my, y'all, every, all the day, my husband will tell you all the time, we're sitting there watching TV, I'm working on my Pinterest, I'm working on my YouTube, like just little things here and there. So like, that's, I mean, just a lot of different things that it could be to, to be that way. What do you think, Palan, for when you, if it's not a hobby and a business, what do you think? Right. It's, it's definitely once you decide um, that you're going to make it a business going and put in, registering the business and like you say, creating those entities and really setting it out and following the guidelines in your state. Right. Your state is going to be different. And listen. But yeah. I am not going to say that you stuff, you. You're not a hobby anymore. Right. right. And let me tell you, I was so like, whole, I was scared to death about taxes and all this and all that. And um, there is just um, something to be said for doing the right thing. And you don't have to know. Go to somebody that does know. Right. You know, like there's, it's like you don't have to know. That's what people get paid for. They know. They'll help you. It's yeah. okay. Don't yeah. be scared. Yeah. Um, and we were actually lucky. I shared a few weeks ago. We have um uh, Jennifer Pritchard Irwin. She's actually a CPA and she's a reef maker. So um, she actually put a um, tutorial out on Etsy. It is on my page. I pinned it to my page earlier, um, maybe two weeks ago. And I just think that that is such a jewel to have because a lot of people don't know if you go get a CPA, it might run you a couple thousand dollars and stuff like that. But she can give you the guidelines to start out um, just to make it not so scary for you, like, please right. utilize those types of things. People like Damon with business coaching, invest in yourself, right? Invest in your business. You you definitely have to invest it, invest in yourself when you begin to take stuff seriously and really want right. to take the Absolutely. steps. Absolutely. Yes, for um, sure. I think yeah. we're so passionate about wreath making and designing and doing everything. We want to make all the things pretty. Some, you know, we don't want to. You know, take the time. Well, let me to do those tell things. you the business side of my business you is to. my favorite. <laughs> you don't want to. But you have to. No. I just yes. do. I do what I have to do, and then I just hand it to somebody else. <laughs> yes. So I really wanted to know how um, did you come with your um, Candace Design School, and like how did you meet Megan and Jennifer, and you all decide to come together. Um, so I, uh, had the design school for about a year, I think, whenever before Jennifer in and, um, I can't remember exactly, I'm telling you, my memory is awful, but <laughs> Jennifer living next to me, I used to be really good friends with, and I still am good friends with them, but it's such a weird coincidence because Jennifer's family, um, was, we were very close to them. They have kids that are the same age as mine and my, uh, um, husbands used to coach baseball and softball together and whatever else. And she was always like, um, my cousins, like at Wreath Makers Live, I went to the second one. That was my first one. So um, the one in uh, NOLA. And we just happened to be at the Starbucks downstairs where like there was 900 people at Wreath Makers Live, if y'all don't know that, the second one. And um, it was so busy, but we were down there and she was already in the candy crew and I didn't even really know who she was. And she was like, oh, yeah. Yeah, like whatever. And we just got to talking to the star. I was like, how, how did I not know this? What like, whatever. And like, from then on out, like, um, she's only 30 minutes from me, maybe. Oh, I good. started going over there. And when I went over there, girl, this is before I had my space. I was looking at her space and I was like, 
this is a dream. <laughs> I follow Jennifer with Jam Designs. Like she yes. has little mini houses. Like she has a spring shed. She has one huge 40 foot one that has fall and Christmas in it and all that. So I started going over there and playing in her stuff. And like, and especially with both of them, I really think, you know, of course, God puts people in your life for right. a reason. There is no doubt about that. And I think uh, light attracts light. And I, you know, when I saw Megan on live, she was already in the design school too. And um, she, her, her Facebook, her live came across my feed and I sent her a friend request and she sent me back a screenshot with a heart around my friend request. (laughs) (laughs) I was like, what are you talking about? (laughs) And ever since then, we've been best friends too. And I just loved, of course, like everybody loves Megan. Megan with Cal versus Blue Gun. Um, She is a soup. She's a, a super bright light in this dark world. Um, like, and I just think we all need more of that, right? Oh, yes. And it's oh, just, yes. And just, I just feel like we, both of us, me and Jennifer, we're talking about that today. When we see somebody, we're going to talk to you. That's just how we are. We, you, well, yeah, I, I met yeah. you for the first time in person last weekend. <laughs> like, you know what? We're, we're going to talk to you. Like, we don't meet strangers. All three of us are the same way like that. Yeah. So um, we just make a really good team. And um, I just am blessed every day that they have, you know, become part of what Jennifer runs her own trucking company. So she's really a boss babe in another aspect. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Amazingly talented at cemetery saddles and sprays and centerpieces. And she does um, really a lot of the home decor more stuff. So if y'all don't know, but um, me and me and Meg's make more like the whimsy um, kind of, uh, centerpieces and stuff so we all just give a little bit of different something different you know and that's what we like so um and we have really formed a family like it's just I could not imagine doing anything else in my life and whenever I feel like like what am I doing what do I think I'm doing and then God will send somebody to my dms or something and like just say some of the nicest things and I'm like what did I do to deserve this in my life but he always assures me when I'm wondering what I'm doing it's like Okay, I got it. I understand. I know my mission. I got it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, we definitely love all three of you guys. Um, if y'all haven't checked them out at Candy's Creations Design School, um, check them out. They all bring something very spectacular. And we love Miss Loudmouth Megan and Miss uh Jen Jen. She's like an aunt to me. Like I just love Jennifer. She, I know, she's like so welcoming, like she just feels like family as soon as you meet her. Like and that's that's probably what it, I saw in Jen too, is that like <laughs> Um, not to be getting too much of my business. Like my mom never really, my grandma was my mom, my, my, my mater, you know, like to mother me or whatever yeah. else. And it's weird because Jennifer's nine years older than me and I'm nine years older than Megan. Like there's oh, nine wow. years. Old. So we, um, not that she's old enough to be my mother at all. Yeah. Yeah. Like that, but I think she probably gave me that that I was looking for too, you know, like yeah. I know she's a very spiritual person. Mm-hmm. I can tell her what she prays for me, regardless if I have to ask her or not. Right. Um, but I know for a fact that if I have her, I have prayed somebody praying for me <laughs> and my, you know, so it's just um, like, there's just something that you just, just, um, you know, not replaceable with all that, you know, our husbands get along amazing. We just went and had lunch with them. Like, it's just, um, I don't know. It's just a good thing. And I think God doesn't do things by mistake, you know? Yeah, definitely, definitely. So we have another question by our audience member. She says, what do you do if you get in a slump? Yeah, I saw that. Um, Take a rest. Don't quit. Just rest. Right. Um, Like, just y'all, I had, this is probably TMI, but I'll tell y'all anyways. In January, I had a full hysterectomy thinking it was going to help my migraines. Well, it didn't seem like it really has. So I'm just going to try to get on a different medicine and whatever else. But my whole point in saying this is like this past few days, I have not even felt like putting a foot in this place. And I just yesterday, I took a nap during the day and I don't do that. And today I feel a lot better. You just have to, um, when you get in a slump, and this is what Megan says too, like if you get burn out like at Christmas. Y'all know we're making Christmas in August and we're oh, all yeah. burnt out by the time it gets real close. <laughs> we're like, we're done. And, um, but you know what, go make something else. Megan calls it cleansing your palate and to be able to go cleanse your palate, start, you know, fresh, like try something else. Look on Pinterest. 
um, go try to get some inspo or whatever else. Like I could be in a slump and I'll be on Pinterest or something just looking and I'll see something beautiful. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, it'll inspire me and get my juices flowing again, you know. So, um, you know, just a couple of things. Look for inspiration and also just rest. Don't quit, but rest. I've tried to quit quite a few times and it never works out. (laughs) <laughs> no, <laughs> you'll find yourself wanting to put something in the read. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh no. Oh no. So what do you love most about um, teaching others? Oh my gosh. Well, you know, um, I never knew that I would make such a big difference in, in somebody's life. I mean, other than my children. And because that, you know, that's what everybody says too is like, oh, you get, you're so lucky you get to live your dream. Well, y'all, I've been married for 22 years. I have two awesome kids. And when I was growing up, all I ever wanted to be was a good mama and a good wife. I don't know if it came from my childhood, you know, of mm. being raised by my grandma or what. I don't know. But that's all I ever wanted to do is I got married at 22. And had my first child at 23. Um, You know, I just like, I've been living my dream for a long time. Is it always sunshine and rainbows? Absolutely not. (laughs) But um, to be able to um, live, you know, with my passion, to, to do my passion for a job, that is a dream. That really is. I mean, I couldn't, like, I cannot even describe how thankful I am for God for to to allow that for me. But whenever I really... Like, girl, when we were leaving General Wholesale, I won't say her name, but a lady came up to me and she was crying and she was like, you don't understand what you've gotten me through. My dad just passed away from COVID. And like we all of us influencers, we get those messages a lot. Yeah. Yeah. And um, it is the most touching thing that I could ever, ever like you're. And like, sometimes when we're like, I don't feel like going live or I don't feel like doing this. I don't feel like doing that. You have to not think about yourself. You have to think about the other people. My sweet friend, Mary Joy in the group, she's been there from day one for the past yeah. three years. <laughs> and she's like, I found you on YouTube. I never put anything on YouTube hardly. So it's just like, um, you never know who's watching you. You never know who you're inspiring. You no. never know who you are making not give up. Right. So do right. I, I'm not perfect. And I always, you know, I get the notion to give up too. It's hard, y'all. It gets hard. Some days are a cakewalk and some days are a struggle. We yeah. are all the same, y'all. We are all the same. We are no different from each other. So right. um, yeah. you just like all, I, I, all that I am is a product of not giving up. I'm going to tell you, that will always be my testimony. I was in my craft room before I got out my shop and I said, God, if this is what you want me to do, you got to help me figure this out. Yeah. And I just kept going. That's so, it. So that's just it. You just have to find all the ways. Like I was getting on to Palan. I was like, girl, you need to make you a link. You need to get affiliate. Yeah. <laughs> you need to do that. So like I, like I, I don't claim to know everything, but I'll try to help you, you know, to show you what helped for me. I mean, not yeah. everybody wants to do, you know, having a group is a lot of work. And yeah, um, so you just have to, if you're not going to do that, you need to record tutorials and put them in your Etsy shop. You need to find a way you can make money while you sleep. Yeah. And um, it's hard. It's not easy. But if it was easy, everybody would do it. So there's there's ways, y'all. You just have to. What what happened to you before you did all this fancy stuff? How did you figure that out? <laughs> Mine went to YouTube. <laughs> Exactly. I went to YouTube and I Googled and I said, You know what GTS means? Google that stuff. (laughs) There is a world of internet in this world, y'all, to figure it out. And there's a book, and I actually, I did there the audio book, Everything is Figure Outable. And I've always, even before I made reads, I always had that mindset. If you want to do something, you can do it. Oh, yes. So my son's just yeah. like me too. He's in Nashville right now recording songs and stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'm so, so proud of him. <laughs> I never in my life would have thought that was going to happen. No. Ever. But so, I like that too. Like, um, especially if someone tells you that you can't do it, mm. <laughs> you want to light a fire. <laughs> Watch me go. Tell me that I can't do it, and I'm going to try my best to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, Michelle. Yes. yes. Go back. Hey, hey, Uncle Donnie. Y'all, we still been called. Did you ever know why we called Craig? Uh, oh yeah, because it was like. 
<laughs> oh gosh. Anyways, I'm not trying. I, I need Craig. to stop. Craig, I keep Craig interrupting your interview. Too, I have to get him on the show. Um, but I just want to thank you so much. What do you see yourself coming, like going in the next five years? I don't no, I have no idea. I All never right. told myself that I would sell supplies, but my husband, he keeps pushing me to do it. He keeps pushing me to like, <laughs> yeah, we got home. So we drove from, um, you know, uh, Louisiana in the RV. And then we got in Jen's, I mean, we got, we got to Jen's house and we drove from my car home. And he's like, you need to do some local wreath classes here by yourself. You need to rent out, rent out the city center and do that. And I was like, well, I've thought about that. And I've had people ask me to do it. I probably will. He's like telling me, you need to do this. You need to do that. And I'm like, hold on a minute. We just drove 12 hours, 13 hours. Can you give me a break? So yes. I mean, there's other things that I want to do, but honestly, like I don't, I do think to the future, but I don't obsess everything. I just ride the wave. Like, I mean, I've always been that way. Like, as long as I am put in one foot in front of the other and like something will pop in my mind and then I'll execute on it. Right. right so I don't right. have like, oh, in five years, I'm going to be this or whatever. Like, I don't yeah. really have that kind of plan. Yeah. I don't know if that's good or bad, but. No. I think that's the perfect answer. I actually myself, like, I know which direction I'm going in. But I, I like short-term goals um, better than a long-term goal because God changes your plans, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, he'll change those plans. You think Girl, you're going to yes. set out to do something, he'll turn something. Like you say, you'll execute something that pops up that he'll give you. And then right. you realize, okay, God, so this was your plan. <laughs> right. Exactly. Right. Yes. <laughs> That is one hundred percent true. Yes, so I just I, I'm I'm kind of the same way on that. Um, if you would so have, have me... another question from the audience member. I saw one. Okay, Bree Tate says, "Have you ever stopped creating because of a, of a period of no sales?" She says, "Sometimes she thinks about just um, giving up. She feels like she's taking up space." Well, if you have things that are not selling, um, a lot of times I'll just. Uh, if it's like an abundance of things, like I have a couple of, um, and what I do with my wreaths that don't sell, I box them up in the boxes that I was, I would ship them in. I don't strap them down or anything because when they do sell and they will y'all, I had an ant wreath, a watermelon ant wreath that I had, um, last summer and it just sold a couple weeks ago. So I'll just go take it out, fluff it. I might add a little bit more filler to it because y'all, I don't know about even from last summer, my taste and my, you know, your, design, your you change, yeah. yeah, you change. And so I just kind of spruce it up some and then I'll um, zip tie it to the bottom of the box and then send it out. But um, it's already in that box is what I'm saying. And it's protected, you know, so yes. that's how I store mine. But if you if I have one that has not sold, I will add to it, redo it. Excuse me. Um, you know, I'll just uh, try to. um you know, do that, you know, or, or you could try to, you know, go do a craft show locally and get rid of them that way. Um, I always, this is my, there's, this is no right or wrong answer about getting rid of things that are not selling, but I don't really um, discount my stuff a whole lot, like run sales. I'm not saying that is a wrong thing to do. Um, maybe every, a holiday sale is fine, but I just don't want to train my customers to wait on a sale to buy my stuff. Right. Yeah. So yeah. I just feel yeah. like that's what happens with me and I'm not going to sit there and wait. I'll just box it up and save it for the next. And that's what happens too, is that usually it'll be the first thing that sells the next season, the next season. already in your shop. I have two Halloween wreaths that are so cute. One of them was so cute. It was a witch wreath. It was a Derrica's designs attachment. It was one that China stole my picture of. <laughs> So many people probably bought the China version and the real version is in your shop. <laughs> Whatever. So but that's what I had some bunny wreaths when COVID first hit. It was during Easter time, right before Easter in March. And um they didn't sell in the next summer, I mean the next spring or whatever, they were the first things to sell. So don't get discouraged. Like we do need full shops. I am very guilty of not having a full Etsy shop. I just don't have the time. And honestly, having multiples is a great thing, but I'm just not a multiple kind of person. I'm more of a custom size, you know, kind of person. So it's just um yeah, I struggle yeah. with that. But um anyways, it's yeah, I found um, when I first started making wreaths, um, it's a journey and you know, 
when you're making it, you got to make it to kind of learn to grow. Some of those reads you might want to redo. And like you say, um, retake pictures, put it in your Etsy shop. Exactly. Um, I've even taken some piece. of those to a craft fair after I've grown a season and realized, okay, hey, um, these are maybe a lower price point. Just looking right. at my growth from when I began. My exactly. And that's I another now. thing. Yeah. That's another thing that I teach to my students as well. Like you have to be self-aware. So if they're like, oh, I don't know how much to charge for something. And of course, it's always kind of the rule of thumb is to do the um, materials times three. Um, but I always, you know, sometimes if I struggle, I still struggle with pricing things. Sometimes I'll go look at something comparable on Etsy, y'all. But you have to be self-aware to where, you know, you have to have not just the matching materials, but the matching talent to what you're pricing it for. Right, you know what I'm saying? right. So, and just like you said, it's like when I sold that ant wreath, it still looked great and super cute and um, still like my same ribbon type, but I added more florals to it and filler or whatever, you know. So, it's just... Um, you know, just be self-aware, redo your pictures, redo your Etsy tags, um, just renew your listing in general for 20 cent. Uh, yeah. You know, a lot of those things can trigger it to throw it back in the algorithm or whatever. Yes, yes, yes. So um, who is your number one supporter? Like, what's your support system as far as being a business owner? Um, um. Well, it used to be me. <laughs> <laughs> But my husband's really gotten, um, he's, he's really saw how, um, oh, he's probably watching right now. Maybe <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but I mean, it's just like, listen, this is the truth. My husband, he is not, he was never a, not my supporter. He's just a realist. Yeah. And, you know, he is just like, okay, you're going to pay your bills doing how and doing what and doing what, like, because, <laughs> yes, you know, not. we wouldn't have what we have if it wasn't for him busting his behind at work. He, wires airplanes for a living and he's amazing at what he does and he's a hard worker and he's worked so hard for us ever since we've been married he's a hard worker so anyways my point is is that his it's not that he wasn't um was purposely not you know whatever but now that he really has you know he, they helped build my shop and that's what happened is whenever i really like started not only when i started my group um, I was up in a little craft lo a loft area. I had no space, but I also didn't have privacy. It overlooked my living room. So yeah. you can go back to, on my Candy's Creations page and look at old, old lives. I had terrible internet. We have no fiber internet here. And I had no room. I had no privacy, y'all. When I tell you everything was against me, the yeah. devil was after me. Yeah. Like, I am not even telling you a lie. Um, so I... Uh, you know, my, we decided we were get we got a big metal building and he we built out one side. So it's air conditioner insulated and all that stuff. And the top of it is storage. And the other side right here is like the garage or whatever. So anyways, he and my dad, mostly my husband, me. And then somebody told us about um, the Internet, you know, um, T-Mobile Internet. For We were almost about to spend thousands and thousands of dollars for business Internet. And then our friend told us about that and it worked. $50 a month. It oh, worked. wow. <laughs> and, uh, it happened literally the month around the same exact time I got my shop. It was like everything because I feel like because I stayed faithful and I kept That's pushing right. through and I did it anyways, y'all. I would record my tutorials and take them to my friend's house before yeah. I quit my job. I can say this before I quit my job, I take them to my job and put them in the computer and upload them to Vimeo. Yeah. <laughs> but I doing whatever it took yeah. to get through. You yeah. can go look at my old videos on my Candy's Creations page and they're so blurry that you can't even hardly watch them. But I did it anyways. That's right. And you know what? I, there's people that will still tell me they're like, oh, I remember that. I remember that. <laughs> That's doing this right now. I would never have been able to do this. Yeah. So. I'm telling you, God is so faithful. God is so faithful that I could not even tell you that um, how everything unfolded at one time in my life is insane. It's just so crazy to look back on it. So anyways, um, my husband has been amazingly um, supportive the past couple of years whenever he started seeing, you know, people asking me to fly places and design. Oh, yeah. and, like <laughs> it's funny because like my daughter, she'll tell people, like, what do your parents do? She's like, oh, my mom makes crafts. <laughs> like, it's a little <laughs> bit more than I just, you know, me just making yeah. crafts. Like, yeah. so, um, anyways, it's just, uh, yeah, the past couple of years, for the long, for the longest time, 
not to discourage anything, but I had to be my own cheerleader. Like, I'm not kidding. Like when people didn't believe in me, I had to believe in myself because I knew that I could, I would listen to podcasts on my way to work. Yeah, um, I'll do right now. <laughs> yes, I would, like every kind of inspirational thing or mm -hmm. entrepreneurial thing. Um, I got a piece of hair falling right here. Um, like anything that I could soak my brain into, uh, you know, entrepreneurial wise or, um, you know, spiritual wise, inspirational wise. That's all I would listen to. Yes. I, I, don't even, I don't even watch TV in my house. Me so neither. <laughs> I, don't, I just don't. I, don't, I have no interest in that. Yeah. Um, so I just I'm always just, you know, watching whatever I can to grow or, you know, watch people's lives and go hang out with the community and whatever else, you know, too. I think that's all also too. like, y'all, we we have to be our own cheerleaders, but we have to be each other's cheerleaders because nobody yes. understands. Like when I tell people that I went to my I'm going to a, a wreath makers live or whatever, like at the airport, this guy saw my shirt. And he was like, wreath makers. I was like. Yeah, there's going to be 900 people there. Right, right. It's a thing. Okay? <laughs> it's a thing. It's a real thing. This is so, on my name. <laughs> yeah. Like it's bigger. It's a bigger deal than you think it is. Yes. And honestly, <laughs> you know, um, that's why I'm glad that my husband got to go with my husband and Jen Jen's husband got to go um, to see and meet these people. You know that they know who they are. They everybody yeah. knows who they is on the internet. You know from us. So it's um, for me. So, and my kids and stuff. And then the retreats that we put on here and then they're like, oh my gosh, the in-person retreats we do here in town. We could never do that without our husbands, y'all. They have everything put together, the glue pots, everything's plugged up, making sure there's no breakers popping. Like they are, they said they are, they called, they, they claim themselves our managers last time. They so. are, girl. <laughs> That's a good support system. Yeah. Yes. So <laughs> it has been, and I'm going to tell you, it makes a huge difference. Yeah. Being yeah. your old cheerleader for a long time is really hard, but yeah, you can do it. You can do it. And you know what? And then when, when you start proving to everybody, this is a real thing. And I'm like, I'm really doing something. And it's not just for me, it's for other people. Oh, and I yes. think that's probably what opened up my husband's eyes too, is like the in-person retreat we had the first time, the first, yeah, here in town. We yeah. We had five ladies there. And like, you know, everybody want to take pictures with us. And like, I'm like, hey, honey, I am a big deal. <laughs> people think, you might not think I'm a big deal. But people think I'm a big deal. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so anyways, uh, yeah. And I think it just like, it takes people just seeing, you know, that, yeah. that, that we we live in a world that people don't understand. They don't. And um, just like I shared to my page today that, uh, they buy those wreaths off those ads on Facebook. Oh, yes. <laughs> they seriously have no idea. Like, you're going to get a wreath for $25? Oh, like, yes. no, sis, you're not going to get a wreath for $25. No, no. <laughs> I had a customer one time um, just insisted one um, be bought from Amazon and worked on. And could I add to it? And I was like, sure. And when it got here, it was tiny as could be. And I was like, I told you. <laughs> But and that's the thing is that if you're not, yeah, um, if you're yeah, not, it's not, it's not going to be much for right. <laughs> it's not. Yeah, so, um, most people are amazed though when they see us. It's really, it's really a customized pieces that we do, right? Um, that we create. They're really amazed at it. So it is a thing. It is coming up. It's it's been up and coming. It's been a thing, and it's going to continue. But I just love as a community how we work together and we support one another. Um, in everything, you know, um, no one yeah. is going to understand and get excited about a ribbon more it's than my free. friends. <laughs> right. If y'all didn't see, and that's what, um, if you didn't see the little interview, I bought um, Palando's because she was in my interview, but at General Wholesale, I bought this little microphone and I was going around <laughs> interviewing people. So you have to go look on my Candy's creation. Yes, for that it's from hilarious. General Wholesale. But <laughs> that is like me and when I, when I interviewed Amy from the Man Reed, she was like, that's what she said. She's just super glad and proud of how the community has grown because when we went nine and 10 years ago, nobody shared their knowledge. Nobody told you where you bought stuff. Nobody, it is 100% different than it was then. And it's so much better y'all. It is so much better than anything any of us could ever have imagined 
because we all thought that you keep secrets, you keep it to yourself, you don't share, you don't whatever. And look how much from sharing our knowledge yeah. and, 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 and our love for each other and our love, passion for, you know, what we do. Look how it's made all of us grow. Exactly. All of us. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we are all better together 100%. And right. yes, there is drama out there. But I think that's one thing that I am so glad that God put Jennifer and Megan in my life to really see the good in it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Like, like there's only drama if you allow it. Like right, right. somebody starts to talk to either any of us about anything. We're like, listen, that's that has nothing to do with me. You know, like, I'm sorry, whatever. Like, we just don't we just shut it down. And that's the way it should be. Like, it's just. Yeah, it should be. Um, we, we're just all better together. And it's yes. all so, Absolutely. so much. It's, it's like this, it is a different community than it was nine to 10 years ago. So yeah. I think that's probably one of the most things that I am proud of is that I got to be a part of that. Like it's mind blowing to even think that. So I never if you would have asked me three years ago that I was going to be where I was and people were going to ask me to come on stage and do all the things and people would yeah. know who I, was, <laughs> I would have never thought that in a million years. I promise. Yes, yes. Craig says it has taken me so long to realize and appreciate all of the people that we have never met that support us so much. He said, because we don't always get that kind of support from our own family. And that is so true. <laughs> um, I, I've been so blessed true. to have some support within my family, but as far as my um, friends, like, like, like I said, they're not amused with, okay, girl, you got a ribbon and you're excited about a, a oh, ribbon no. attachment. <laughs> like a what? <laughs> No, do you want to go out or not? I need to backtrack. I need to backtrack and talk about my parents because my dad and my bonus mom, I call her. Um, they have been so supportive of me. Like they'll be in Sam's and be like, This is the ribbon they got. What do you want? want? Like in the past, like really my life has come full circle in what in my business the past two to three years than ever in my like ever and then you know and it and, and they're just like my husband just realist like okay well if you're gonna do this for a job how are you gonna make this work and I made it work like I'm just I'm not saying that I'm like anybody special I just still work hard I still want it I still have a I don't just have a passion to make pretty things I am hungry for the journey that's what that's I right. am that's I right. am hungry for learning all the ways and whatever, you know, like I love people. I love creating. I love the fixing my cover photos. I did it for Jennifer and Megan and the bus. Like I love all of it. I love it all. <laughs> so it just, yes. Yeah. It's the journey, right? Um, a lot of people say you find joy in your journey. It's not really going to be the monetary value of it, um, the end game. It's it's all the little steps, all the the small wins. One hundred percent. If I won the lottery, I tell everybody: if I won the lottery tomorrow, I would do it all for free. Of yeah. course, I have to have a paid group to pay my bills. Like, okay, I mean, it's just like that's my job, um, yeah. and to sell what I make. Right, that is my job, and I'll always and people who were in my design school will tell you I will always give more than I receive always right, I right. um like we have Etsy I pay people you know Lauren to do Etsy critique I mean yeah Etsy critiques I'm fixing to start doing wreath critiques like I'm always thinking of ways that I can provide more value for everybody right, right, and, um, right. not just not just teaching people how to make stuff and where to get the materials like I, I just try to do that so anyways it's just um yeah, just doing all the things. Yes. So Miss Candy has brought us a lot of jewels today, a lot of gems. She's dropping a lot of knowledge on y'all. I hope y'all are catching the messages and catching the messages. Listen, I'm just telling you there is no secret. Find joy in your journey. There's no secret. There is no secret sauce. No secret sauce. But she dropped some gems, you guys. Um, she, you didn't hear her say she's trying to the more she adds value to others. It's about serving others, you guys. And she truly has found her purpose. If you would do it for free, you are walking in your purpose. That's what you, right. you're supposed to be doing. Right. That's how you know this is your purpose. And I would I, you can save this for later because if I somehow win the lottery, yeah. <laughs> I need the money. I, mean, I, I probably would too, friend. Right. I got to make something. Yes. Well, I would probably have more of a stash, but... <laughs> 
Oh, yeah. just pray, girl, I don't need. And then, you know what? That is one thing, too, I want to tell y'all. I'm really good about is that, of course, do I, if I see something, I'm like, oh my God, I love that. And I have to have it. Yes, I do. But I don't, I'm really good. I mean, I'm sitting here looking at all this, living right now. <laughs> but I try my best and I have a lot of stuff, but I am really good at saying, okay, I don't really need all that. I don't need this. I'm not buying, like I didn't buy when we went to general wholesale, I bought some stuff, but I didn't go crazy. Yeah. Like, yeah. I know what, what I tried to use what I have. Um, first or whatever, you know, but if I see, like, if I see a good bush, I'm going to be like, Oh, Ali, I need yeah. that. Bush, you know? <laughs> so it just depends. I mean, but for the most part, I really am. I try to, you know, do with what I got. Yeah, yeah. Don't go in debt for trying to. Oh no, I'm a good sales girl. Have all the things you I don't would need. Grab a good sale. Right, you don't need all the things. <laughs> yeah, you don't. I don't buy nothing unless it's on sale. Yeah. I don't buy nothing unless it's on <laughs> a sale. Good sales girl. Yes. So and it'll then, add up over time, but it's and even, on sale. Even if you do tutorials, or even if you want to go live on Facebook, use your phone. You ain't got to do all that. You don't have to have all the fancy, expensive no. things. Don't mm -mm. sit here and wait until you have all the fancy things because you don't need that. So, and you know what? I know that's another thing that the wreathing community, it does seem saturated or Etsy seems saturated, but people will love it's you really nice. for you. People yeah. will love you for you. And people are always like, I'm scared to go live or whatever else. And Lori's on here. I see her. And <laughs> we'll, call, we'll call her out real quick. <laughs> Everybody loves her. Like she's so yeah. funny and sweet, and she's so talented. She's amazing, right? But, like, I mean, there's people. You know, Megan and I both because we talk a lot, as y'all can tell. But Megan will send me a screenshot of somebody being ugly to her or whatever else, and you know, I got to go comment on that person's comment on her page. Um, so like, they're just like, "Are you gonna keep talking or whatever else?" And like, you know what? You're not for me. Like, okay, just don't, you don't have to be here. Like, there's going to be those people, but who right. cares? You, you can't, you can't um, satisfy a hundred percent of people. If, if it's like they say, it's 99 people in the room. And if I touch one, then that's who you were meant to talk to. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. 100%. That is you won, you made your, <laughs> you, right. you, you did Absolutely. your thing. Move on. Right. So and then, you're just and not for that thing, person. Like in the design school, I used to get so like people would come and go or whatever else. And most of the time it's just because they can't afford it anymore or something like that. And I used to take it so serious, like take it to heart. But then I'm like, Candy, like it's not about you. It's fine. <laughs> just Yeah, it's just, not. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So anyways, but just my whole point is that people don't be scared because there is a customer for everybody. There is um, your people are out there. You just have to put yourself out there. And, and it's scary. It really, y'all, you can go back and watch my first live and I was shaking and like. <laughs> but you have to get, just get through it. You will it, get through yes. it. And the more, it's just like riding a bicycle. The more you do it, the more you'll get used to it. And the more you'll just be comfortable with it, you know? Mm hmm so we all have like a little voice in our head. Um, you know, people like to say you're crazy or you're talking to yourself. We all talk to ourselves. Okay. Admit it. Yeah. And I want you to admit it. Yeah. When you start saying, oh my God, I'm scared. I'm scared. They're going to think this. They're going to say this. They're going to say that. Is it true? Say to that little voice in your head. Is that a fact? And is it true? Right. Absolutely. You no. know, I tell y'all. It um, is not a fact. No. And the facts are 90% of this community supports you. We don't talk crazy to you. We love to see you. Even if you're shaking in your boots, like we're, we're not even going to notice or we're going to, you know, have empathy and, and really sympathize with what you're going through because we've all been there. We've all been right. shaking and started and done our own first lives or whatever. So um, right. just ask yourself. It's not, it's, 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 it's yourself that's putting yourself in. You're, you're the only person putting yourself in the way of that. So right. is it true? Is is it a fact and is it true? And if it's not, just calm down, just breathe and you'll get through it and you'll do great. And you go yeah. on the next time. And then watch, once you start getting used to it, you yeah. know. <laughs> I watch um, Mel, Mel Robbins. If y'all don't follow her, she's on, on all Mel the Robbins. things. And mm -hmm. she came out with that five, four, three, two, one method. And when you right. start really <laughs> overreacting about something like because i will with my kids or whatever like if my son didn't message me back or whatever else I'm yeah like, yeah he's fine calm down yeah it's he's not five, true four, <laughs> three two one and then it really will bring you back down to reality and yeah. it will kind yeah. of like okay come on now let's make sense of what you're thinking about you know yeah. so 
Because ninety percent, I'm telling you, ninety percent of your viewers are going to love you. They're going to be happy yes. and everything else like normal. Right. Just, just get out your head a little bit. And that's the thing is that you don't <laughs> ever know. Just like the lady that said that we helped her get through her husband's passing or her dad's passing is what it was. And like, there's so many people out there that that is their only outlet is to is the internet. And to hang out with people yeah. and whatever else. They don't even get to get out and talk to people. You don't ever know who you're, you know, keeping you're touching or whatever. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So that's what this show is absolutely all about. I want to thank you guys and thank Candy, of course, for coming on. Thank um, you for having me. I'm honored. Yes. I want to do this show um, to just kind of give an impact because the things that you went through just to become successful, just sharing that with other people. Um, like you say, it's all about impacting and sharing and changing lives of others. Um, tell everyone where they can find you and find your design school and if they can follow you and all of those things. Well, I have everything that you could possibly imagine. <laughs> um, it's a... Uh, I should have sent it. I should have done it to my link tree to the comments. Absolutely. Well, let me do this. Let me go out and I will share my link tree. And this is what um, has all the links to all of my Facebook, my Pinterest, my Instagram, my design school, my everything. So there it is in the comments. And um, it'll take you to all things Candy's creations. Yay. And there's a Canva tutorial it'll take you to. And there's all kind of stuff in there. And I have a lot of my affiliate links to where I shop at. Um, Candy's Fellas, uh, Damon, um, shoplikecandy.com. There's a lot of places where I shop as well. And I have an Amazon influencer link in there. There's all kind of stuff in there. Yes. Yeah, so I think this is absolutely amazing. We'll have to have you on again because, of course, you'll be doing uh, more major things. And I, I want to so. give you another pair of flowers. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I hope so. And thank you for letting me be your first guest. And I want to yes. say that I am so proud of you. And I can't wait to watch your future podcast with everybody. This was super Yay. fun. So excited. You guys will be on back next Sunday, which will be Easter Sunday. So it'll be on a little later in the evening. We will have Michelle on with Greenery Guys. Oh, yay. I'm yes. so excited I'm to have her. Yes. Um, she was just actually published in Women's World Magazine for the wreath making community. Go on, girl. I know, so right? got to give her some flowers, of course. That is major. Like, that's one oh, of my yeah. mom's favorite magazines, a weekly magazine that she picks up at the grocery store, honey. Oh, my and God. And she loves it. And so I'm super excited to have her on. Um, I know she's done some things with you at your retreat also, so um, that'll be awesome to just have her. But I want to thank you so much, Candy. Um, thank you. Been, like I've told you, you've been such a mentor to me. Um, you've told me some life-changing advice, and um, I am I going to do it. I and I just so. love you. And I will. So, I'm going to stay on you, so don't get yeah. mad at me when I stay <laughs> on you. I'm going to come for you. But yes. um, if y'all, any of y'all ever want to shoot me a message, Megan does help admin my Candy's Creations page. So um, if it's something she doesn't, can't answer. But most of the time I stay on top of it too. My page stays pretty busy. So, um, but yeah, I'm ha happy to help anybody that ever has any questions. And um, y'all, I mean, just do it scared. I saw somebody say, you know, like that's what you have to, that was Julie Samako saying where she came All up right now. Like, yeah, I got some gems now. I love it. Yes, do it scared. <laughs> do, do it scared because we know what. And that's the thing is that I would not be here without all of y'all. Like, and that's how you know Craig and all of them. Craig and Melissa go live and they have three, four hundred people watching them oh, now. Yeah. I don't get that many people watching me. I don't go live a whole lot because I'll be slacking. But anyway, <laughs> you, you know, people love people because they love you because you're you. So right. you know That's what? Right. You put in the effort and it will be seen and it will be rewarded. So y'all just all keep going. I am only here sitting here talking to you because I chose to keep going. That's right. That's right. Well, yeah. thank you so, so much. And you All guys right. have a great Sunday. Um, we'll see you back next Sunday right here at Move Makers Home Decor. If you want to watch the replay or listen to the audio version like I do when I'm at work, I'm listening to my podcast. Check it out on Spotify. I'll see you guys later. Y'all have a good night. Bye. <laughs>